Hey everyone, so today's mascara first impression will be on the, as you can, as you can see, the Physician Pharma Organic Wear Mascara. So I will read you the claim and then open it, it's not even open, and I will apply it on my lashes and say what I think after a um, workout. So, Physician Pharma Ultra Black Organic Wear Full Flared Fit. 100% natural origin, 70% organic, 24 hour wear, lash traction brush, proof it blend, life proof formula, 10k proof, gym proof, sweat resistant, water resistant, a volume length lift, tough enough for any workout, and the lashes it shows are really uh, lengthened, but still natural. Well, natural. It's pretty much eyelash extension, but still, you know what I mean. Um, same thing here. Um, how green is your makeup? And it says 100% natural, 70% organic. First ever work it full flare fit mascara. Revolutionary do it all mascara guaranteed to last through your toughest work, toughest workout, leaving your lashes looking full, long, flared, and magic, hour after hour. And it says what ingredient um, traditional mascara has, and the 100% natural um, origin that makes it better. Um, sweet mascara brush from lash base to tip. Apply multiple coats for added volume. Can be easily washed up with soap and water. It was supposed to be water resistant. So I will open it. It's really ugly, but it's because uh, you're not pretty when you're going to work out. I don't even have nothing on my face, and it's pretty bad. It shows. Um, so mascara comes to pop up, and the colors are really nice of this too. And right now, if you buy it, you have a six dollar rebate, and it's like. 10 so basically make it four dollars so it's not a bad a thing uh, 100 percent organic natural origin orchid full flare fit mascara ultra black physicians formula so um yeah i i can get over the colors i know with this camera i will have mine soon with dhd i just forgot it at my boyfriend's house so i'm running with the old camera um i know it's probably looking really dark so you can it can it doesn't justify um, but here's the brush doesn't seem to have a lot of product on it which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but there's a lot of um, like there's a lot of space between the bristles which I don't know it maybe can lead to clumpiness so I will curl my lashes on one eye only even though it says lift, um, I always curl them anyway. I just hope that they will stay um, that way. If the mascara looks beautiful, obviously. And I curl them a couple times. And I often change eyelash curler. No, like this one is the um, Avon, but uh, sometimes I the, use the Tar, the Elf, or the Revlon. So I'm going to. Open it and I apply my first coat. I'm sort of scared. I don't know how I was expecting a wet formula like the L'Oreal Telescopic. You know, it's it's really liquidy and then it sort of hardens. So that would be the water resistant. It's nice, but a really really dry formula. And as I'm seeing right now, there's a lot of small bristles. So I don't know what the longer bristles are for, but we'll see. It reminds me of another organic wear mascara I had. That the demo was a fail anyway, but uh, it doesn't seem that bad actually. Um, well, at least for first coat. But it's true that the brush doesn't have a lot of product on it and the leaf design is not as 
not disturbing, but it doesn't bother as much. If you have long lashes, you can look like the advertisement after your first coat. Like really lengthy lashes. I'm just making a point to separate enough. So, I will zoom in of course. So, I really like what it does after one coat. I hope it built nicely. I will not let it dry uh, between coats. Uh, but yeah, they're really lengthy actually. And yeah, I think if you have really long lashes, you can achieve that looking effect. I mean, it's this girl is obviously not wearing any mascara. Kara, maybe, except for her bottom lashes, but you know um, what I mean, so. Second coat. Ooh, I'm super pumped. I heard it was horrible on YouTube, but, you know, people don't have the same lashes and same preference, so. You hear the review and you do what you want with it. I mean, like, oh, this mascara is horrible. Good, I have it on my try list. I really like how it builds up. It's really nice. This isn't the most um, dramatic mascara of all time, but the fact that it keeps the curl properly with that lifting, lifting claim uh, makes it excellent. It's sad that Vizinch for really didn't have a lot of range for their um, foundation because I would have tried the foundation as well. I'm just not sure if it will fit my skin tone well because I'm pretty fair so like light was borderline a little bit too um, dark and I bought a foundation. Okay so I can believe this how much I like this. Um, we're going in for a third coat but this is, it's amazing, it's almost unbelievable, uh, and it's not that I under, in, under uh, estimate uh, physician for but you know, it's like, okay, fine, they have organic ingredients, would it be as good as the chemical ingredients that I want to see, like, is it as good as the toxic product that you, we try and, and works, so we're going in for a third coat. And I hope this will not dry as fast as the um, other mascaras I've tried lately did from them because like the first go the first time was a dream and the second time I was like oh it dried nice. They did that with an eyeliner also so I was pretty disappointed so we're going in. It keeps the lashes pretty separated which is a nice thing. Like, you know, they're not going to clump unless you, you don't, you're not careful, but still. When your lashes touch your brow, like, mmm. Girl with short lashes, problem number four. I might be um, living on the edge too much, but I'm feeling like maybe a fourth coat uh, might work. This is amazing. I'm I'm not believing it. Like, mm hmm. So <laughs> we're going in for a fourth fourth coat. If not, we will know that one coat is bomb, two coat is bomb, three coat is. Bomb. Damn girl, are those your lashes? Sorry for my little sister that screamed. She's probably um, dreaming about my long lashes. The product starts to get more hard to distribute, I feel like. It with a fort coat, so you have to take more time to um, really um, comb through with the smaller combs on the end or the longer 
clones, but it's still pretty nicely buildable because it's a drier formula. I can't believe this, this is amazing. Where have you been all my life? Oh wait, it's a new release. You've been hiding at Shepherds for too long, girl. I'm trying to comb it like I want it to look like. So I will stop here because if not I feel like it's going to be too crazy but well it's already crazy as it so this is how it looks it's pretty amazing uh, I will do the other eye and then um, come back this eye is really getting it's longer but it's getting hard to separate really uh, I don't know what's happening but it looks dry on the lashes I feel like but but on this eye it's so long like okay <laughs> my lashes sorry for the music and the talking but my lashes are amazing like mm -hmm. girl are those really yes because you can see the clump um, but I don't feel like the brush helps in any of these because it's uh they have tiny where are you oh you have sort of bristle all around but the main bristles are so far apart and i feel like when it looks like this it looks too um dry and you have bits of product at the end of your lashes i'll probably remove those but I feel like it removes some length, but you know, you gotta sacrifice um, beauty for length. Uh, I have some on here too, but... See, uh, and... But, yeah, um... So, I'm brilliantly surprised uh, by the product. Uh, it's really nice. I love it, and... I will check in like during the day if um, it um, it flakes, it smudges. Uh, it feels like your formula is going to flake. Like you know, sometimes you see how it looks and you're like, yeah, it's going to flake. I feel that way about this product, but maybe I'm just wrong. And but I'm not really someone that always touches their lashes during the day. Like I'm not rubbing my eyes or anything. So. We'll see, uh, if, so it will be sort of a blog about how the mascara um, has up. So I will come back and check in and I will check in the time to see how many hours it lasts. Probably not 24, but yeah. So um, three hour check in, how it is. There's a flake. There's a bit of flaking, but it still looks pretty nice. So, I will just check in and see in a mirror to see how it looks. I think transferred. Okay, a little bit transferred. But if not, it stayed um, really nice throughout the workout. So, I will just come back later with more thoughts. And since it's only been three hours, it was a workout, but um, only three hours, so uh, I will come back in later. So final check-in has been... Um, it has been seven hours and I have some smudges and it's... I slept, so it's pretty terrible. But...
depending on how much it dries um, like if it dries after 30 second use so this eye is pretty terrible and this one still alright and it's sort of flaked and transferred on the upper lid and on the bottom if not it's really nice and um, so yeah that concludes my video uh, on this physician from my uh, Happy Booster uh, no, Organic Wear um, Working Mascara. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.